You're beautiful. You possess qualities that give me great pleasure or satisfaction to see, hear, or think about. Held paramount is your inner life. The one where you listen to and are led by the Holy Spirit, you see, you feel it. This all-encompassing relationship with God that has you committed to be moved, to be changed, to be open, to be corrected, to be able to fight and make up so you can fight and make up again. To bend and be flexible, capable and usable, not excusable. Your presence is in demand because your brand is that you're enjoyable. You are the person people think of when they are in distress. A shoulder, a friend, companion and confidant, truth teller, truth seeker. You are his speaker, fighting against conformity because you know the enormity of the task that's been placed in front of us. Having a sensitivity for those with a proclivity for negativity because you know the power of the tongue. You know there are power in your words like swords. They are capable of life and death. They're tools, the fuel used to drive you towards a destination or drop you off a cliff. To mend relationships or further the rift, and you desire to mend relationships. The most important one being the one between man and God. And you do this because you love. You love with a love that can only be given by those who have been forgiven, not for an act, not for one or two things, but for a nature. Your love is patient, which means it is capable of bearing or enduring pain, difficulty, or annoyance with calmness. And you forgive. And when this is a struggle, you need only to consult him, which will result in a reminder of what an insult it would be for perfection to forgive and for imperfection to behave opposite. And you do not desire to be opposite, but you desire to know him, to be more like him. Being transformed by the renewing of your mind, see, you're not blind to the fact that with each new day, there is a new opportunity to learn and grow. For maturing during the regular course of your regular day, because see, you are consistent in your existence. You're not dragging, pulling, cursing, divorcing yourself, but you're at one. Presenting your body as a living sacrifice, see, you're not concerned with the list of who's been naughty or nice. You're just concerned with doing the work of Christ. You're living an internal existence that is bursting out instead of an external charade striving to break in. And of course, there are trials. There are obstacles in your terrain that are designed to make you refrain from continuing. There are temptations, seductions that seek to be a hindrance to your reproduction. And there is pain. Pain that is sometimes so piercing, heartache that is so real, losses that are so great that they threaten to overtake you, to break you, but they can't, they won't. All of the days ordained for you were written in his book before one of them even came to be. All of you servants of the king, laborers in his field, a city on the hill, you are the salt of the earth, you are the light of the world. His light and love through you produce qualities that give me great pleasure, a satisfaction to hear, see, or think about. It's beautiful. You're beautiful. <laughs>